Hi Year 2, welcome to your first maths lesson this week. This week we are just going to be having two maths lessons. Now because the shops are starting to open back up again, I thought it would be a really good idea to brush up on our money skills. So our learning objective for today is can I find the value of notes and coins in pounds and pence? Now, just as a reminder, in England, we use pounds and pence as our currency. This is what we use to pay for things. To find the value, you need to look at the number on the coin or note. The size of the coin or note does not equal its value. Just because the coin or note might be bigger in size does not always mean it's worth more. So here I've got some pictures of the pence that we use in England. And I want you to take a minute just to have a look at the shape the size, the colour and the number of each of these coins and I want to have a think about what the value of them might be. Pause the video and have a think. Okay, let's take our first one. So we've got a slightly small coin with a one on it and it's copper in colour and this is worth one pence. Next we've got a slightly bigger circular coin which is also copper in colour and has a two written on it. This is worth two pence. After this, we've got a smaller silver coin, circular in shape, and it's got a five on it. It's worth five pence. After this, we've got a slightly bigger coin. It's silver and it's got a 10 written on it, and it's worth 10 pence. The next coin is a bit of a funny shape. It's got seven sides to it. It's silver and it's got a 20 written on it, and it's worth 20 pence. Next, we've also got another seven sided shaped coin. It's silver in colour and it's got a 50 on it and it's worth 50 pence. On the slide before, we looked at pence, but this slide shows pounds and pounds are made up of pence. So if I had 100 pence, that would equal one whole pound. Now, pounds can come in coins or notes. So what I want you to do is again have a look at each of these coins or notes. I want you to take note of their size, their colour, their shape and the number that's written on them. And I want you to have a think about what the value of each coin or note might be. Pause the video and have a think. Okay, let's have a look at our first one. So we've got a coin that is gold and silver in colour and it has one pound written on it. So the value of this coin is one pound. Next, we've got a slightly bigger shape. It's got gold and silver on it again. And this one is worth two pounds. Now we've got some notes. So our first one is a rectangular shape. It's green and it's got a five written on it. And this is worth five pounds. Our next one is slightly orange in color and it's got a 10 written on it. And this is worth 10 pounds. Our next one is purple in colour and it's got 20 written on it and it's worth 20 pounds. The next one is sort of red in colour and it's got 50 on it and it, this is worth 50 pounds. Now these are all the coins and notes that we have in pounds. Now what I want you to do is have a look at the coins and notes that I have here, the pounds and pence, and I want you to have a think about how much money there is here all together. Now remember, we write down the pounds first and then we write the pence. So pause the video, have a look. What do you think is the answer? Well done if you got 17 pounds and 25 pence. So the pounds that we have here is we've got a 10 pound note, a five pound note and a two pound coin. And this makes 17 pounds. Then next, we've got 20 pence and five pence and you add them together and that gives us 25 pence. So all together, we've got 17 pounds and 25 pence. Now your task, you have got three worksheets to complete. These are on the parent sheet and linked in the description box below this video. Please make sure you upload your work to Tapestry. I'll see you next time. Bye.